Welcome back here to our brand new set here. One of the most historic homes in Coronado is up for sale. Yeah, this home is along Ocean Boulevard and it's known as the Crown Manor. Our Heather Myers had a chance to go inside. You got a sneak peek of this ginormous house, Heather. I did get lost, I will be honest, <laughs> on this tour inside of this yeah. incredible home, which you may not notice. It's right along Ocean Boulevard across the street from the beach, but it mm -hmm. does have a gate in front of it. So if you drove past it, you probably didn't realize what it was. The Crown Manor has been owned by some of the wealthiest San Diegans over the years, including Larry Lawrence, who used to own the Hotel Dell. Well, the current owner is a hedge fund manager who has it listed for $40 million. If it sells at that price, it will be the most expensive home ever sold in Coronado. The real estate agent gave me a look at what $40 million could buy you in Coronado. Along one of the most beautiful beaches in the world is the city of Coronado, home of the Hotel Dell. It's a vacation destination, and it's known for its spectacular real estate. This historic beachfront home is listed for sale at $40 million. You take one step inside Crown Manor and you're walking into a museum. Real estate agent Scott Ulrich is guiding our tour from the crown molding to the floors, from the decor to the antiques and the fine details. The Crown Manor is impeccably preserved for a home built all the way back in 1902. One of the things that I immediately take away from this house, Scott, is how big it is in Coronado. Yeah, for, well, for, for most places it's huge, but for Coronado it's spectacular. I mean, there's no other houses that are even half as big. This is about 24,000 square feet. You heard him right, 24,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms with the option of five more that could be converted. A potential buyer could also negotiate the purchase of all of the furnishings, from the furniture to the chandeliers, even the statement pieces, like this dining room table that seats 16. Anybody who's looking for a house wants to see what the kitchen looks the like. Kitchen. Well, before we do the kitchen, this is the china room. This is just the china, china room? room? Yeah. The china room is where food is plated right before it's served. The cabinets hold glassware and dishes. Another door is the kitchen, which was recently converted to a commercial grade kitchen. There are stainless steel countertops and sinks, an industrial sized refrigerator, even this giant mixer. The cooking range is large enough to prepare food for hundreds of guests. There's even a private tasting room equipped with a large wine fridge. This is the main staircase, Scott. But how many levels is this house? Well, the house has four levels. There's a basement. The main level we're just on, we're going up to the second level, and there's a third level, a fourth level up on the top. There are several staircases in this home, and not one, but two elevators. Down this long hallway is the master bedroom. It's relatively quaint for this size of house, but it has spectacular ocean views. Because this was all redone in the 90s when Larry Lawrence owned the house, and he made this their master bathroom suite. And as we go around the corner, you'll see his closet. In a second, I'll show you her closet. His closet has rack after hanging rack for clothes and shelves for dozens of pairs of shoes. Up a short flight of stairs is the room that used to be her closet. At one point, this room was full of racks of clothes. There's a seamstress room just for fitting custom clothing. And beyond the closet is a beauty salon equipped with two chairs, a massage or facial table, even a mini nail salon. Gosh, Scott, one of my favorite parts about this house was what we just saw. The beauty salon for women. But what about the guys? Well, there's some places for the guys. There's a pretty special place for the guys called the man cave. Come on in. This speakeasy was likely used during Prohibition. It now comes with a full-size bar, flat-screen TVs, and a piano. Then, with the push of a button, we're headed into one of the elevators. Let's go down to what you call the, the Clinton, Clinton wing. wing. Right here in these two guest bedrooms is where the Clintons stayed in the 90s during a visit to San Diego. Check out the wallpaper, which lines almost every bedroom in this house. And just one floor down, there's a sauna, a saltwater float spa, and a full-sized gym. A step outside reveals a private courtyard and pool surrounded by large shady trees. All of this sitting on a 27,000 square foot lot along Coronado's coveted Ocean Boulevard.
Okay. Wow. I can see how you got lost in there. I'm, there's so much to it. Be honest, there's some things I love about that house. Yeah. There's some things that are just kind of okay. You want to update? I mean, the, yes. wall, the wallpaper, yes. wallpaper you know, yeah. that could use but a little changing. Location, 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 <laughs> as they yeah, say in real is. estate. And I did the math on this just for fun. Okay. Let's just say you put 20% down mm -hmm. and then finance the rest <laughs> yeah. on a 30 year fixed mortgage. Sure. What At today's be? interest rate, do you want to know what your monthly sure. payment is? No, I mean, yes. <laughs> if you had 20% of 40 million, yes, sure. Yes. $254,000 a month. A month. A month. A month. A month. Wow. Man. The people who can that handle hurts. that. Props to you. Uh, yeah. Invite us over in your next party. <laughs> and, and invite us to the next party and we'll bring some new wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> A wallpaper party. Yes. Like awesome. Good Heather, luck, though. Thank, thank you for that. Yeah, Heather. I'm glad you took us in there.